Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Boy, did I go out with a bang. Thumbs up for that. <laughs> out with a bang? Whatever do you mean? I'm talking about the very last day that I thrifted in Boston with Lori Tata. I went out with a bang. She came in like a wrecking ball, but I went out <laughs> with a bang. Let's cue the intro and jump in to the best haul I've ever had in Boston. The best day I've ever had in Boston. It was our last thrifting day, but it was the best thrifting day. Does that make sense? All right, let's do it. Okay, so we can start with this hat that's too small for my head, but I don't understand how it fit my dad, but not me. Hey, am I a cute? Do I look like a cowgirl? This is like, is it supposed to sit up there? Or, like, I just want to push it down. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. Oh, it fits. There we go. Hey, um, are you distracted? <laughs> so I got this hat. It's a Kubra. This hat, should I just wear it the rest of the video? This hat is so cute. Um, I'll show it to you and then I'll probably wear it the rest of the video because why not? A Kubra. Cobra Matata. Cobra is the name. It has this really cute. It matches what I'm wearing. It's a total moment right now. Gosh, these hats are like really expensive. I think it's wool. It's made in Australia. It's size 57. Gosh, it's just stunning. I am obsessed with it. And now I feel like I got it on my head. I think I know how to wear it now. Gosh, it does kind of hurt though. I think I'm one size up from a 57. <laughs> I've never been a cowgirl before, but it's cute. Okay, so we'll just I'm wearing this. So I got this, these hats are so expensive, like 200 bucks. And they resell between 60 and 150, 120. I can't remember. It's kind of hurting my brain a little bit. Yeah, I don't feel like this is my size, but I'm just gonna wear it. Okay, so super excited about this. I didn't even know it was good. <laughs> but then, I just got it based on how cute it was. So when I looked up and seen how good it was, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, okay. And then shortly after this, I found this Filson bag. What was going on that day? Cowboy, cowboy hats, cowgirl hats, and Filson bags. So this is like a giant Filson bag. I'm hoping to get upwards of $100 for this. These retail for like three, four hundred. This is the, I don't know the exact style name of this. It's a very large, whatever it is. I'm trying to show you the logo. There it is. So really heavy straps. It's in great condition, you guys. It is giant. Do you see in comparison? It's giant. And I'm ready to get it listed. I've just been waiting to get the haul filmed. <laughs> I got these hunter boots. They're black. These weigh so much. Oh my gosh. I'm going to include hunter boot socks with them when I set, when I list them. Uh, cause I have a pair that I found in the bins, but I was excited to find them because they're kind of my size. And then I put them on and was like, what is going on here? So 6M7 female, but they were really wide. See how it bumps out here. I'm pretty sure these are like wide calf to see this extra little bump out here. But I just don't, if anyone knows how you can tell if they're wide calf. These are the Huntress UK5 US 6M7F. I'm almost positive these are a wide calf. These were so big around my ankle or about around my calves. Like I couldn't wear them. I looked ridiculous. So they're in really good shape. They're not like a, the high gloss, high gloss. They're kind of matte. They need some olive oil, but they still have the tags from the store on the bottom. They're really in pretty, pretty, pretty decent shape. <laughs> so I was ecstatic about those. I was only, I was just worried about bringing them home. I was just worried about bringing them home in my suitcase because of the weight. All right, I've, some of this stuff you've probably already seen because I did a shoe haul with Lori and I just can't remember uh, what goes with what. So I remembered it by day, but I can't remember what I've shown them, what I haven't. So sorry if some of them are repeats. <laughs> Aren't these adorable? This is like a whole vibe for me. These leopard shoes, this crushed velvet shirt, and this hat. I 
I feel it. Um, this is Picone. Oh, something's itching. Oh God, I hope this hat doesn't have lice. It's been, I've been storing it for months, so certainly they're dead by now. Um, these are made in Spain, calf hair, brand new with tag, espadrilles. They are a size nine and a half. So I'm excited about those. Oh my gosh, there's hair. All right, next are these Donald J pliners. I'm obsessed with these as well. These are a cork platform Donald J pliner and they are metallic. Like, look at that. It's so hard to see because they're so shimmery. But they're a very metallic-y toe sandal. <laughs> yeah, it's got the little place for your toe. They are like butter leather. They're a size 7B and they're the Ginny. Ginny? G-I-N-I. Genie. They're amazing. So I'm excited about those. Who are we kidding? I'm excited about it all, but I'm so excited to be doing the haul and be able to finally get this stuff listed. These are Lucky brand. These are a size 10. They're the Liza, Lisa, L-I-S-Z-A, so Lisa. Um, they're open toe, leather, stacked heel. There's a lot of stickers all over these bad boys. <laughs> Yellow, orange, red. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have the stickers on bottom still. They're literally like brand new. So I couldn't leave them there. I couldn't leave them there. These are Sam Edelman's. These also go with my ensemble. These are Adair. They're size nine. Super wide, chunky mule, like loafer mule, tan, neutral, leather. Oh gosh, they are beautiful. Sam Metalman, size nine. So I was so excited about all the shoes, especially these. <laughs> these are Chloe. I have never in my whole life found Chloe, not once. So these are like a ballet flat. They're like a seafoam green, very light, maybe green in a way. They're beautiful. Uh, they're a size 38 leather, little ballet, scalloped ballet flat. Yeah, so they're scalloped all along the edge. Leather soles. There's some wear on the soles, but nothing too minor. They just need me to put some, uh, I need to shape them, you know, stuff them and store them. But they're beautiful. Made in Italy, Chloe's. Like a beautiful, like mint, sagey, bluish green color. I'm great at descriptive words. Okay, these are super expensive also. Meher Coquilia. I have, tr I know I've said this before. I talked about these in my live. These are a size 38. And this is the brand. Yeah, these are beaded lead, like, they're supposed to be like cracked. It's like all intentional and these are beaded. They're, ignore the hair on them. There's hair all over them. He beaded everywhere. Stunning. 38, these are so expensive. This brand is sold at Anthro and it's a designer on its own. Um, comps, I'm hoping to get close to a hundred. We'll see. We will see. All right, let's move on to the last little bit. It's closed. We're at 15 minutes, so we should be able to. Should we just go with this? Ah! I know guys. I was so excited when the lady was like, I've got something for you in my back room. And I was like, oh, you do? Little old me? She was the most amazing shop owner ever. Burberry, London. Um, it's a jacket. It has a little bit of pilling, like on the lining and the inside. I'm gonna have it dry cleaned. I think it's worth the investment to have it dry cleaned. Uh, the only problem is I li I can't find the size. It's probably, oh, it is. Here it is, 12 regular. Does that mean this is a kid's? Oh my gosh, it's a kid's. I don't know. 12 regular v Vol B. 
VO1B. So, hmm, it's a kid's. There's no way that's a kid's. Who would buy a Burberry coat for their kid? This is a kid's? I'm 12 regular. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll have to do measurements. I feel like a small woman could wear this. But when I tried it on, I'm not a small woman. I'm a medium to large size woman. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, but like I don't wear a small or an extra small. When I tried it on, it fit. Just the sleeves were short. So now I am questioning whether or not this is kids. No! I don't know. I still found Burberry. My average cost of goods was $6, so how could I say no? This has already sold. She was in my live. I need to reach back out to her. I just said, let me film the haul first. So now that I've filmed it, I'm going to reach out. Um, this is Tasha Polizzi collection. I was going to list it for, well, I wanted to get 50, but I'm going to give sell it to her for 40. Uh, since there's no Poshmark fee if I sell it direct, but it's a star skirt. I think she said it's her anniversary month in July, and so she wanted it for that. It's an extra large. It's amazing. It's literally amazing. Yeah, the stock photos are so cute. I showed them on my live when I was showing some of my stuff. Um, this, I think I showed a few of these things. This is Prairie Underground. Never have I ever found Prairie Underground, and Lori was so gracious enough to just hand it to me. I was like, this is on your list. And I was like, oh my gosh, it is. It is, it is. So it's just a zip, a hooded zip, like asymmetrical zip jacket. It's very well made. It is size small. It's made of organic cotton. It's a really good brand and their stuff is expensive. So there you have it. I have no idea what comps are on Prairie Underground. I can't wait to look though. This is Helmet Lang, size small. It is a blush, zipper back, little like vest, <laughs> vest hoodie. Cause it has like a, you know, your hand pockets here, but all this is like sheer and then yeah, it's like a, I don't know, it's really, really adorable with all these mesh cutouts and you can see through it. It has like a white leather strap here. So I'm excited to find the stock photo and the name of this because I'm sure it's like upscale, look cute type of, yeah, I can't wait to see. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this dress until right now. Made by Anthropology, US size 10. Well, 10 petite, but nothing by anthropology is petite. So, um, this is Maeve. This has leopard print and floral. It is a midi. Or, well, maybe. It's below the knee, that's for sure. I am going to wear this. Look at this leopard print trim. And it has all these buttons. Oh, you guys, I forgot about it and I'm so excited. Oh, I'm just over the moon. Okay, next are these TNA. Never found TNA. Sold at. These are TNA Atmosphere Legging made with Aurant, Aurant, our signature soft jersey for all day, every day. Size small, high skinny. So that's the tag. These are just leggings, but when I seen them and I felt them, I was like, these are, these are really something, I bet. And I had never even heard of it, so. Um, and then I realized, yeah, they're sold at Revolt. Is it Revolt? I think it's Revolt. Uh, yeah, then this is a Moulinette Sears. And this is size 10, and I'm debated on selling this, too. I'm debating on selling it because it's my, it's got mushrooms all over it and some of them are beaded. Some of the mushroom caps have beading on them. 
it is a mushroom blouse and it's a 10 and it has this little what's that called a pussy bell <laughs> ass caught tie <laughs> ah my battery's dead of course it is okay well that hat put a permanent indention across my forehead so you'll have to look at it for the rest of the for the rest of the video we are almost done so close I feel like I've got makeup on my it was giving me a head sore. <laughs> it definitely isn't my size. Okay, this is ASOS size 4. I thought it was really cute. That whole floral little little balloon sleeves. It's a pants. It's a No, it isn't. I'm kidding. It's a maxi dress. I thought it was a pantsuit. It's a maxi dress with this fun open cutout back. Isn't that cute? So yeah, size four. It is, is it pants? I could have swore it was pants. I'm literally losing my mind. Nope. It's just a long summer dress. I'm showing the fact that I'm in these pants. Wearing pajama pants with my velvet shirt. Don't touch me. <laughs> Do not touch me. Okay, this is a J. Crew blazer. I always pick up J. Crew blazers. I always sell J. Crew blazers. I think this is probably a schoolboy blazer. If it is, does it tell you? There's something in the pocket. I'm scared. Oh, rock candy. There was rock candy. It says, let's cook. Oops. In the pocket. Weird. That was super weird. It's 100% wool. If it's the schoolboy blazer, does it say? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure it is. It's got these really schoolboy, schoolgirl looking vibes. Two button, gold buttons. Those, the buttons have that detail on them. You know, the crest. This reminds me of all of Courtney's um, Gossip Girl stuff. This is size double zero. Doesn't matter, I've sold a million, not a million, but a lot of size double zero blazers in J. Crew. A pink one, a tan one, and now I have a navy blue one. So I'm excited. I should get $50. I should. Oh look, some dojos. I picked them up and Tato was like, I've never found those. And I was like, oh, this is a guaranteed $40. Guaranteed. But I'm gonna list for 50 or 55. So seven for all mankind dojos. They're uh, in fantastic condition, like new. They don't have any heel drag, probably because they've been hemmed. Ugh. Have they or have they not? Well, I if they have, it's not gonna matter because I'm gonna give measure. Oh no, they haven't. I don't think. Maybe they have. Regardless, they look fantastic. Dojo is the only seven for me, all mankind I pick up. Yeah, and it's a guaranteed 40 bucks. I remember having them listed for like a day or two, and someone bought them, and I was like, Oh, I think I priced those too low. So I've only found them once, but they sold quick and. As soon as I seen, I was like, oh yeah, this is a guaranteed 40 bucks. Cottage Taylor, size eight. I got this based on style. This is so fun. Look at this skirt. So it's high-waisted, midi length. Look at this, it's so cottage core. Look at this long, deep pocket. Look at the fabric. It's like a tartan tweed. <laughs> Stripes, not plaid, but the pockets are striped opposite. High waist. Oh my gosh, it is in its line. So, you know, it's vintage. YKK zipper. I'm telling you, this is something. I'm going to ask... Shop Foxborough about it. She'll know. I think the lining is silk. It's a stunner. 
I sh when I showed Lori, she was like, oh my gosh, yes. But just based on style and then like the cowboy hat, it was just so cute. Okay. And then I found this leather western little purse. I'm pretty sure this is genuine leather. I just smelt it. But it's hard to tell because it kind of just smells old. Yeah, I feel pretty confident to say that this is genuine leather. This is such a cute purse. It's got all that detail on the silver. Ooh, it's cute. I'm pretty sure it's leather. It's heavy like leather. Suede. All right, last item, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Altuzara. Does that ring any bells? Altuzara. Extra small. I seen this jacket, and I was like, hmm. And then I looked at the name, and I was like, Altuzara. That sounds fancy and familiar. And then I just looked it up, and the comps were like 12. Like, things were coming up 1200 1800 and I was like, Lori, and she was like, no, Altuzara. She's like, what is it? And I'm like, I think it's a designer. Look at these prices. Runway. Duh, duh, duh. And she was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She was so happy for me. This is a green military jacket. Well, it's a green trench jacket with the belt, belted trench with these contrasting sleeves. They're in black. Yeah, they're black contrasting sleeves in hunter green. And then I seen the Target symbol. And I was like, Altuzar for Target? No! Like, our dreams were crushed. But the comps on this, I guess this sold out instantly uh, when they released this. It's a 20, 20th anniversary collection. I'm in my pajamas. Uh, 20th anniversary collection. I guess it, when it released, it sold out, uh, almost instantly. And it was a special collection. This style with the contrast sleeves and the hunter, like the olive green. So, so I still think I could get like 75 plus for it when we were looking up. Yeah, easy. Definitely 50, but I'm going to shoot for the stars because why not? Right? It needs washed and steamed so it could look beautiful, but yeah. Lots of Hollywood people, lots of movie stars have worn that jacket. Probably the real one, but yeah, I, I've seen a lot of pics. So anyways, that is it. That is my last day with Lori Tata. She handed me a lot of that good stuff uh, as she found it. But the first thing I found when I walked in was those Chloe shoes, and I was like, it's going to be a glorious day. <laughs> yep. So I went out with a bang. What do you think? Did you think I did? So that is it. I'm so sad to say <laughs> that is everything. You have now seen everything that I picked up while thrifting in Boston with my dearest friend, with my dear friend, Lori Tata. Tata. It sounds so weird to be like, Lori Tata. <laughs> um, I'll leave her channel link down below. It was an epic last day. Triple I'll never forget. Can't wait to make more memories. And if you're interested in anything, let me know. I'm going to be listing it all all week long. So check my closet frequently. All my links are in the, my description. Also check out my merch. It's here. Um, I haven't got my order in yet, so I could show all my different stuff. But when it gets here, I'll be sure to show. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.